Today we're going to be looking at one of the most iconic TikTokers of all time, Kevin G. Not to be confused with Ali G, I know they look very similar but I assure you they are not the same person. Kevin G is an 11 year old TikToker who has recently risen to fame and has now somehow became the most hated kid on TikTok. What does he do I hear you ask? Well, oh, he uploads singing videos. <laughs> He loves singing Taylor Swift, and he also loves singing Takashi69. And yes, I can hear you. No, that is not evil Uncle Wayne from Alvin and the Chipmunks. That is Kevin G's dad. And what's even funnier is the internet is made up that him and his dad like hate each other and they have these like mini beefs. For whatever reason, Kevin just bullies his dad at any opportunity he gets, and it's hilarious. And the meatballs are Romanian style, but they are somewhat like traditional meatballs. Interesting. Mm, interesting. Shame nobody fucking asked. <laughs> He's such a wee savage. I love it. I'm just Gonna enjoy the mashed potatoes, please. <laughs> Brother reconsidered his whole life choices. But don't worry, I don't know his dad's name. Let's just call him Uncle Ian or just Ian for this video. Now, Ian does actually eventually fight back in some of these TikToks. First things first, um, please do not spam. First things first, we don't tolerate spam. Comments, um, second thing second, just don't spam and. That's like the third time it's like, don't spam. Kevin looking around like, who pays the bills? Damn right, Kevin's a star, baby. I don't know why that TikTok sound effect makes me laugh so much. Did I do it right? I think I did. I did end up joining the army. I was uh, sent to war as well. During the service, I did get sick. That was a tough time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's just sitting there like, hmm, fancy looking pen. Kevin is literally playing with the air. That's how bored he was of his dad's trauma dump. Bro does not care that his dad went to war. In crying perfect storms, like in May, God, the tables turn. I already know what's coming. <laughs> Get ready. I love it so much. To be fair, Kevin did look like he was about to pop there. I reckon if you got a pen and just went boom. RIP Kevin G. But of course, of course, he just kept uploading all these still little singing videos. And what happened? Uh, well, people kept reporting them. People, for whatever reason, just got really angry that this little kid loved singing Taylor Swift that they just reported him. Why are some of you guys trying to get me banned on TikTok? I don't understand. I did nothing wrong to you. You know that I can't play. I can't run. I, I can't hang out with friends outside. I can't do a bunch of stuff because I could break something. And I'm just, I have an online community that I can share and have friends with. And you're trying to take that away from me. This isn't fair. So if you picked up on what he was saying, he was saying that he can't go outside and play just like all the other kids do. And that's because he suffers from osteogenesis imperfecta. I think I actually said that one right. Osteogenesis imperfecta. Well done, boys. Pat on the back. Which I believe is the, the same thing as brittle bone disease. And if in case you don't know what brittle bone disease is, I think it's exactly what it says on the tin, where your bones break, you know, very easily. And I believe the most common breaks are arms and legs, you know, because you use them the most. He has videos of him doing walking therapy, etc. So he, he can't even walk on his own, let alone, you know, play tag with other kids. You know, when I was a kid, we played a game called Hunt the... You know the word. And I barely survived that, let alone Kevin G. So, after learning that about him, did that stop people reporting his account? <laughs> no. This is the internet we're talking about. They do not care. <laughs> so sadly... Kevin G, RIP. He didn't die, but his account did, which as we know for a TikToker might as well mean the same thing. So of course, with the news, Kevin had to head to YouTube because he was banned on TikTok and uh, here is Kevin G's response, live from his couch, I believe. Hello friends, I'm making this video because my main TikTok account got permanently banned. I just wanna say, I hope you're happy that you were finally able to ruin my vacation, my holiday. To be fair, Kevin do be valid for real on God, but sadly, I think it is more of a, a TikTok problem rather than a people problem. I mean, it's, it is a people problem because people are reporting him, but I mean, TikTok is just notorious for just banning anyone for no reason. Like I said, you would never see this on YouTube where YouTube just ban an account and go, Ugh. Oopsie! Is that your income? Oh, gone down the drain. See you at the job center. Uh. 
uh, to my knowledge, I can't recollect them doing that to many people. If that's not happened to your TikTok account, then you're not a TikToker. But yeah, it is quite sad that people just report his account for virtually no reason, other than the fact that they annoyed him. Oh, but you making videos and making fun of me, that's all right, that's all fine and dandy. But if I try and enjoy my life and have fun and do stuff, then it's a bad thing. Why? Why is that? Like he said, this is sadly the only thing that he's really got because he can't really do much else. I, I guess making videos is the only thing that makes him feel like he's actually doing something socially because he's interacting with people online. But obviously people just thought it was funny to report him whether people actually knew he was going to get banned or whether they just didn't care, I don't know. I'm, I'm also going to assume that a lot of people didn't actually know that he suffers from a disability. Not that it would be okay to report him in the first place if he didn't have a disability, but a lot of people forget that not every disability is physically visible. Just because you can't see someone's disability doesn't necessarily mean that they're not disabled. I, I really hope that someone at TikTok reaches out to them to then secure the account so something like this doesn't happen again because it is, it is a shame because obviously he's doing this for his own happiness, but then this little corner of the internet where he can be himself, he's now, you know, crying and upset because he's He's getting relentlessly bullied. Like you should be able to just mass report someone's account and then it's just vanished, boom, poof, just like that. Um, but of course, just in classic TikTok fashion, guess what guys, you got it back baby. I'm too happy, I just, uh, we got it back, yes. hey dad, hey mom, we got it back, yes. I have all my commentaries again, thank you TikTok, thank Aww. you. <laughs> I did not expect that one. Blood realised he had to unban the account because the Legos were getting expensive. To be fair, have you seen the price of Legos? You would think, oh, Legos is a kid's thing, right? Surely it's quite cheap. No, for the Hogwarts thing, it's like 400 quid. I've had plenty of people say to me, oh, Lewis, you should get into Lego. It's really relaxing. I fucking hope it's relaxing for 400 quid. If I wanted relaxing for 400 quid, I would just go to therapy or a holiday. The king got his account back and he's, he's, he's thriving. But now, instead of just reporting him, people have learned to now love him in a very weird way. People will just comment the most obscene thing you can possibly comment ever. I want you to look at little Kevin G here and I want you to think of the worst comment you can possibly humanely think of. Keep it up there. Don't say it, just keep it up there. I'm gonna give you five seconds, there you go. Okay, if you've got the comment in your head, well, guess what? It's not going to be anywhere close to the comments you'll see on this video. Kevin G versus Hydraulic Press. What? Kevin G up in flames. Kevin G live facial incident. Kevin G doing the ice spite emote. Kevin G falling downstairs. Kevin G live crucifixion. <laughs> Jesus. Kevin G water torture. Kevin G live shoot with Little Dark. Kevin G collab with Johnny Sins. Kevin G durability test. If you know what a durability test means, it's when you're testing how durable something is. Lewis, why do you need to explain that? You know, because he's got brittle bone disease. That's a joke. And that was about 10 comments. They are outrageous. And they're like this on every single one of his videos. The top comment, Kevin G crawling on a bed with Nike pros. And why is it blue? Why is it a search? And this clearly shows my age, because I didn't know what Nike pros meant. I had to WhatsApp my friend. That's, that is also showing my age. I had to WhatsApp my friend saying, what are Nike pros? And apparently it's them shorts that girls wear that make their bum look really big. I don't know. Lose bucking and Nike Pros went in. How much are Nike Pros? Okay, that's fairly cheap. Fine, we'll do it. 2,222 likes and Lose Bucking will buy some Nike Pros. <laughs> don't know why I spoke about myself in third person there. I will buy some Nike Pros. I might be wearing Nike Pros right now, you just don't know. So yes, they went from just reporting his account to just commenting the most obscene things possible. Kevin G live execution. <laughs> I have no words. Kevin G versus Sophia Leon. I have no idea who that is. Do I want to know? Probably. Judging by these comments, I do not want to know, but am I going to find out? Yes. Who's Sophia Leon? Right, 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 right. Judging by these comments, I do not want to know, but am I going to find out? Yes. That couldn't have been worse if, if we, we, we tried. When I told you that the comments were ridiculous, I, I was not lying. I don't even know how TikTok allow that because TikTok just deletes anything. I used to not be able to comment on my own TikToks because they used to get taken down. Kevin G versus Hamzat Himeyev highlights. If you don't know who Hamzat Himeyev is, he is a UFC fighter. That man is scary. He's missing half his lip for Christ's sake. I was watching one of his fights once and he picked a guy up, carried him, walked over to the side of the cage and started speaking to the promoter that created the event. It was absolutely insane. And if they're not doing it in the comments sections, they're doing it on the live streams. 
there was a lot of confusion on whether this is his channel. Um, and Nathan, I must say you are an absolute disgusting person. <laughs> that sound effect. Is so powerful. The fact he finds it funny brings me unexplainable joy. I, I don't think Kevin knows what's going on. <laughs> now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of my favourite Kevin G TikToks. Oompa, Oompa, Leaked footage from the Glasgow Willy Wonka experience. To be fair, Kevin G would have made the Glasgow Willy Wonka experience just that bit better. I actually wanted to go to that but I couldn't get tickets. I was so sad. The upstairs neighbour at 3am. Kevin G is the upstairs neighbour. I just wanted to say, please stop the hate. Just because I eat a burger, I don't eat the whole thing. <laughs> Me trying to convince my parents that I wasn't fat when I reached 110 kilograms. Just because I ordered four pizzas doesn't mean I ate them all. I saved some for tomorrow. God. All I eat is... Maybe half. I never eat so much. I'm not a pig. I don't just grab the whole thing, shove it in my mouth after the video's done, and call it quits. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that burger is the size of his head. Is Kevin G small? Was that burger really big? I am the scariest. No, I am. Spooky scary. <laughs> Skeletons, <laughs> sun shivers down your spine. Have you just got 2.5 million likes? People love Kevin G. In the top comments, Kevin G oiled up great. It was recently St. Patrick's Day, and of course, just like every other American, Kevin sent his, uh, I wanted to say condolences. Congratulations? Celebrations? Top of the morning to ya! Hello, friends! Happy St. Patrick's Day! I have a little fun song just for this a special occasion. One. <laughs> there once was a ship that put to sea. The name of the ship was the Boy of Tea. Kevin, that's a Scottish song, my friend. That's a Scottish song. Don't worry, you're just like every other person on the planet that thinks us Scottish and Irish people are the exact same. I was in Belgium the other day and some guy went to me, where are you from? I said, Scotland. And he said, oh, I love Ireland. <laughs> What? But guys, I hope that you've been holding on to your hard-earned cash because Kevin G in concert, coming soon. <laughs> He's not actually singing Gotti by 6 9 just in case. Let me see if I can find the original video. Oh, God. Injury lawyers for you can't stop an accident happening. BS guys, if yous aren't anything but a hound dog, slap a like and slap a subscription on this channel. Click here to watch another videos. I love you so much. Bye bye. See you later. Love yous. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, my life with I am stuck in bottle of vodka and I'm in my chicken.